hello guys you welcome to creation life so that's my daughter caroline and uh, the other ones today we're doing the hair remedies protective hairstyle for back to school so just enjoy this video so yes let's get started so that's lisa and don't forget to subscribe to this channel So I needed to uh, comb this hair through after um, shampooing to get it ready for braids. So I will be doing a box braid for um, this my daughter. Um, it's a back to school uh, protective hairstyles for all my other um, three uh, daughters. So I needed to part the hair into the kind of... Um, four sections that it can will well be uh, braided through so i needed no distractions i had to uh, plate each uh, section so that when i'm working on the one section i have to like you know get no interruptions with fly away hairs and all those stuff so yes now i am going right on with the first braid so i will be showing you guys through the whole system uh, from the uh, first uh, braid to the last braid so um it's a medium her uh, box braid i'm trying to do for her and uh, she told me she wanted the kind of a uh, big pick and drop medium pick and drop so um i had to tie the knot in the center like where her whole her own hair and uh, so uh, that's what I tried doing. At least, at least uh, where her hair, like in between where her hair. so now i'm done with one section one braided section is finished so i'm going to the second braided section so after the second braided section i'll also be going through the third four till i finish so uh, i'll be doing this uh, a medium pick and drop for her because uh, that's what she asked for mm, yes yeah, so uh, just come through with me So I find it uh, a little bit less time consuming and I think she says, mommy, it's really less time consuming. If we are supposed to use four hours, we are using a uh, two hour less because we are just doing till the uh, center of the hair and I don't really want any uh, stressed uh, uh, kind of hair. There are days uh, like, you know, you don't really want to spend more hours with doing hair so um i think this hair type is really practicable for the kind of um stress free a little bit not so time consuming so uh, i was also it's also helped me really uh, do other things uh, with my other uh, planner so um yes when she asked for this hair <laughs> i'm really a uh, super super excited because i find uh, that yeah my time will be uh less uh for other things so uh, it's really practicable so let's just go on with it so uh that's what i did with Anne's uh hair for her back to school her box break through and the uh, 
creating a knot in the center. So um, we will not be leaving it this way. Just come through with me till the end of this uh, hair. I can just go through the So almost through with the uh, second section. So uh, yes, now I'm starting with the other third section. So uh, it's the second um piece uh, of hair i'm doing and we will be going through like that so um almost to the center of the hair then i just uh, leave the other ones out but i make sure i secure it with a knot so that it doesn't fall off so i secure it two to three times to make sure it's really um well uh, in place so that it doesn't really uh, fall off I find boss braiding um, a very good as a good uh, protective style. Yes, that's me there. Yes, um, working time, working happiness. I'm always happy when I'm doing what makes me happy. So in all, do what makes you happy. So as a hairstylist, I always try to uh, do this uh, protective hairstyle for the children. So they wake up early morning and all what they have to do is just to like, you know, Put their hair together whenever they want to have air in they can also leave it out it's effortless like you know you don't need much time you wake up early morning and like you know you just go into the bathhouse and just shower and just come out and you are free to go to school without any other um hair uh, problem so it's even practical for uh busy mothers uh when you are working mother, all those kind kind of uh, busy, busy shadows, it really helps their hair to also grow. It also protects their hair from all other bad weather conditions. So um, it's a very uh, practical and very good protective hairstyle for both children and adults. So uh, yes, I'm working through, I'm working through almost from uh, Mondays to the weekend. So um, yes, bookings are... Uh, are still going on yes yes i just uh, work at a fee i work at a fee so um yes now let's go on with uh, the hair at the moment so we almost done with the hair so um, i always say it's almost uh always have uh, work uh, less so we done yes and we're going on with uh, the last uh, braid then we just go on with the styling
so now on uh, caroline's hair so uh, i already uh cornrow through the hair and i'm trying to uh make sure the length is uh just appropriate for the kind of a uh, protective style i'm going to do so as a crochet um hairstyle that i'm going to give to her she being the elder so i'll be doing the crochet hair for uh, the first uh grown-ups so um she being so in guys, the high I'll school i'm trying rollers to do her hair styling i'm going to style almost at the tip of the hair because we want to achieve a curly hair uh, that kind of a curly um hair so that's what she asked for and that's exactly what i'm going to do for her broad a uh, box braids with a box braid so uh, that's it like this as uh it is and i'm trying to work on this one to achieve the curl so let's just watch how i do it so like this and i'm going to go on and pam um, how do we say it pam rolling <laughs> pam rolling so uh, that's it So I'm trying to do the twist, then I'll zoom. Like this. So I'll twist the hair. So after I was through with the um, perm rollers like that to create the curls, what I did was to um, uh, heat uh, water or boiled water and tried uh, fix, uh, putting it or fixing it into the hair with precaution. Please uh, do as well as um, to keep the uh, client or the child uh, really stable. You talk to with the child to be very, very stable. And for children and... Uh, um, six seven years you just try to use lukewarm water it also goes like that for them so um with her she's already matured and uh, she knows the whole process so uh, it's just a matter of her trusting the process and just cooperating with me so that there will be no uh acid so i always make sure i have towels when i'm working on it i really make sure i've i i put on a lot of towels around 
her or around anybody that i'm working on just in case of anything it doesn't get direct into the skin so um now i am a blow uh drying her uh, to because she's getting ready to meet her friends for a party so um i had to make sure um i blow dry for her to get dry instantly because her time was really up for her to go and have fun with her friends for a birthday party So had to pull everything out after blow drying so um that is it you can see the curls are out and uh, it can be volumed uh, but now she just had to they were not super dried so uh, she, she just had to maintain it like that and the next day we'll try to pull off uh, more volume with the curl so for now we are done for aunt's hair so i'll be going on with um the other um grown-up uh, crochet hair because i've already started with the um, uh, cornrows and i have to go on with the crochet and so i will be uh, bringing you uh lovely people through it so um i have three people three children at a spot working on their hair for their back to school uh, thing so with uh, Lisa, I had to uh, really do a deep conditioning. So I'm finished with it. I will just try to uh, upload the whole process of deconditioning and how to manage her hair. She uh, has a lot from all my children. She has the longest and fullest hair. So I'll just show you how I'm able to manage her natural hair. So we'll try to upload all the process I did with the deep conditioning and everything. And we will showing you the products I normally use as a, that routine for maintaining the growth of her hair. Thank you very much. We're going on now with uh, Caroline's hair. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give a thumb up to this uh, video and love. Keep on loving this channel. It's still uh, creation life for Dahlia. It's still creation life for Dahlia. So now I hope you just enjoying every bit of uh, this uh, make, uh, sorry, <laughs> enjoying every bit of this hair uh, remedies, uh, this uh, protective hair remedies. They are all uh, amazing hair that can really grow the child's hair. So uh, I'm really, really always uh, happy when the child hair is really growing so now back to the protective uh, kosher hair so i had to be uh feeding in with this um ultra uh braid so she wanted an ombre red or uh, black ombre so what i do is uh, i just uh, use the crochet um tool you have to get crochet too so that you can really uh, work in like that and uh, try to pull off the hair and secure it. Close the, uh, the crochet to like uh, that and uh, really tie a knot three times and just secure it. So that was what I did. So um, when you want to work well with this uh, crochet hair, that is what you normally do. So uh, that is what I'm going to do throughout the corn roll. So uh, I will be doing it, securing it with the knots every step at a time and making sure they are well uh, covered as well. So uh, normally when I do it, you might even not see that it's kosher hair. It looks like that kind of uh, she wearing a weave on or you might think she's even wearing a, a wee cap but uh, i try not to uh, leave out any hair so this type is the one that you don't leave out there are two types there are ones you can leave out uh, the hair natural hair in front but um, sometimes uh, she just wants it uh, all uh, braided so um uh, corn root i mean uh, <laughs> So this hair goes really, really uh, faster. It doesn't consume more hours. So now I am uh, starting with a black uh, 
hair because uh, she wanted an ombre she showed me the model the type she wants um, the last time we did with a blue uh, strain because uh, they were doing um, that kind of 90s hairstyle and we had to give it a nice pop shape so um, yes let's go through uh, with how i had to uh, do the whole crochet uh, step Hope you are enjoying every bit of this uh, hair routines and protective hairstyles. So systematically we are going up, we are almost uh, more than half of the hair and uh, it's a, a brief uh, relief. <laughs> so um, definitely we will just come through, but it's a very, very uh, fastest hair to uh, work on. I find this work, I find this type of hair style uh, really, really um more uh, less time consuming and everything but uh, it's also really uh, stylist uh, stylish when you do it you can really have a whole lot of fun with this hair and uh, there are several ways you can always try to uh, remake the hair as well so um yes she wanted uh, that kind of um, style so i had to do more of the crochet also as a close-up uh, hair so uh, that's how i do the crochet hair for my big daughter so um we are almost uh, through the hair so uh, there are times uh, she just says mommy it's, it's, it's enough uh, you don't just have to be doing more and more i'm okay with it maybe after three days we can try to fit in more to really make it more close up but since I'm a professionalist, I try to make sure it looks good. So um, at long last, we are through just combing through and trying to uh, make sure I trim it as well. So um, we also be styling it with um, a heat, um, heated uh, straightener. It makes the hair look more slick. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this hair remedies for me. So, as creation life, Idelia. Don't forget to subscribe once more again. Stay blessed. I'm out. Peace. Job blessed.